Hello folks. Hope all of you are having a wonderful day today. I am Tanvir Kazmi and welcome to the second session of STUR Global Fit Fest, a 30 days festival of fitness where we are going to have the best trainers from across the country doing these fitness workshops with us on a variety of topics ranging from running drills, core workouts, yoga, strength training, mobility and many more across these 30 days. Before we begin, a quick sound check. Kavita, can you hear me fine? I can hear you well. I Excellent. You. Yes, I can hear you fine. Welcome. Welcome to the session, Kavita. Today, Thank folks, you. today, folks, we are delighted to have Kavita Nair with us, who will be doing this second Fit, fit Fest session. This session will focus on abs workout. Uh, Kavita is from Bengaluru. She is an entrepreneur. Kavita loves to run long distance and has been a finisher at some of the top most marathons like Berlin Marathon and our very own Tata Mumbai Marathon as well. Kavita trains with some very popular running group, uh, the Jayanagar Jaguars and, and guiding her friends and family on all aspects related to running and fitness is her passion. Kavita, welcome to this FitFest session. Hi guys, good evening. Hope all of you are doing well. That's my mat out there. I'm going to go slightly behind. I hope you guys can hear me well. And we will start when Tanvir is ready for us. Okay. So with that, I would like to hand it over to Kavita so that she can take us through today's session on Apps Workout, in which, in which we will cover a variety of topics related to strengthening our core, improving your running form, and avoiding injuries. Kavita, with that, over to you. You have the stage now. Thank you, Dhanvi. Evening guys, so um, I hope you would have seen the brief of how uh, core is absolutely essential for uh, any kind of sport activity. Um, I'm primarily a long distance runner, so um, I've listed down a few benefits which are absolutely essential for uh, long distance running and how core stabilizes the process. So um, the, the, the process will be really simple, we're going to have about 30-35 minutes of workout um, and we're going to start with the activation of our core, which is the entire portion, not just the core, formers, but even the back, the hip as well. And uh, moving on to a couple of circuits, which we will do in repetitions and then eventually cool down, right? So we're going to start, I'm going to keep my note close to me. Okay. So we're going to start um, with four activation exercises. Follow me with my count and then we will do a repeat of the same. Initially, it's going to be an easy one we're going to start with. I want you to come on all four. And um, this is in line. Your, <clears throat> your shoulders, your elbow and wrist in one line. I'm sure you guys know the position. Back is neutral to start with. And I'm going to go cat and camel pose, activating my entire core um, from the neck to uh, the spine as well. Okay, so let's start. Breathe in. And breathe out. One. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five. Breathe in. Out. Six. In. Completely stretch out seven, in and out eight, in, out nine, last one, in and out ten. In the same position, I want you to just lift your knees one inch above the ground and hold to ten counts. This is called a bear crawl hold and we go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, neutral spine, nine, and ten. So, on this quickly, we're going to go reverse. You usually do planks. This is reverse plank or crab hold. So, this is the position we're going to be in. Tabletop. But reverse, okay? Stay there for 10 counts. One, 
Hold the tight, hold the glutes tight, squeeze them in. The core is absolutely tight. Four, five, neutral neck, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down gradually and lie on the mat and just take a distance of your arm length and I want you to go to the bridge position we are going to do marching okay so I'm going to show it to you you want to be in bridge position all the time just march okay we are going to do this 10 count on each leg slap 1 1 do not sink your hips 2 2 3 3 4 land on your feet not only on your heel. Five, five, six, six. Hips steady. Do not sink your waist. Hold the glute side. Nine, last one. Ten and ten. Gradually come down. Alright. So those were four. We're going to do one more set of this entire activation. And then move to the first circle, right? So, cat camel position. We we'll start. Neutral hips and start. One. Breathe in and out. In and out. In. Out. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. We need that last one and ten. Now same. We will tuck in my toes and raise my knees one inch above the ground and hold for ten counts. Okay, go. One, two, core tight. Squeeze the glutes, spine neutral, hip neutral. Look forward, do not look down. Six, seven, hold. Eight, don't, don't go, don't go. Stay with me. Nine and ten. You're going to hold the reverse plank, tabletop, but in the reverse position. <clears throat> Alright? And Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to do the march. Ten on each side. Your back is neutral, it's on the floor, and raise your hips. And like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and down. Alright, guys, grab a quick sip of water. I'm going to explain the first circuit. So, we aim to finish uh, four circuits, um, basis time, otherwise, we chop off the last one. But four circuits is what um, is there in the plan. So, the first one is around planks. We are going to do basic regular planks. That's for the entire form. Actually, it's for the whole body. With a beautiful um, exercise which is concentrated towards the form. So normal elbow planks, 30 seconds. I'm going to show it. We're going to do 30, 30, 30 continuous and then repeat for more time after your break. Okay? So the regular plank, I'm sure all of you know where. <coughs> the body is in one line, absolutely not dropping. All right, and then that's for 30 seconds. I'm going to come on to my right side and 
hold that for 30 seconds and we'll move to my left and hold that for 30 seconds so if the side plan is difficult for you the easier version for that you can have the leg which is on the top you can just place it slightly forward that's one version and still stay there if that's challenging as well you can just place it in front of you and lift your hips above but important thing you shouldn't stab your hips it has to be up in the air like really high okay just push it as high as possible all right so these are the three exercises we're going to do 30 seconds each continuously and after which we will repeat that i'm going to set the time for us okay so let's get started with basic plank first in three two and go guys stay with me stay in the plank all right five seconds up do not give up if you're very tired just drop your knees a little bit and come up soon 10 stay there stay there halfway through 15 stay 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 there 20 seconds last 10 to go guys before we move to the right side plank 25 4 3 2 and switch right side plank stay there stay 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 all right you can take the easier version of taking the leg and keeping it in the front or lifting your legs uh, hips high over the leg forward but otherwise stay there last 10 seconds before we move to the left side plank okay four three two and switch guys stay all right good one good one after this we get a break and you repeat the circuit 10 seconds up last 20 to go 15 seconds up stay there Stay with me. 20, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hands on the bottom. Quick 30 seconds break. After that, we're going to repeat the circuit and move to the second one. Alright? So, 15 more seconds. Wipe off the sweat. I have a sip of water and we will start in 10 seconds. I want you to be back on the mat. So we will start with plank. Right side plank to the left side. Continues 90 seconds and go. Let's start. 5 seconds up. Stay with me. Keep going. Going, going. 10. 10, 10, 10. 15. Do not arch your back. Keep it neutral. Squeeze your glutes. Engage your core. 25 seconds. In 4, 3, 2, 1. And switch to side planks. Stay there. Choose the version of the side plank you would like. Either the legs stacked on top of each other. Or one leg forward. Or raising the hips with the leg in the front but do not drop 50, 20 seconds up we have 10 more to go before we move to the left side plank Oops. stay and switch Thomas. stay with me okay 5 seconds up stay there ensure your shoulder and your elbows are in one line your entire body is in one line. 20 seconds up. Last 10 guys. And we move to the second circuit. We will get a longer break then. 3, 2 and 1. Alright guys. Break time. We move to circuit number 2. And this primarily focuses on um, crunches. So I am going to show it to you. Most of our workouts, the first one is a full body and the second one is right side focus and the third one is left side focus, okay? So, this one is called 
90 degree toe touches. So your flat on the mat, there's no, you're not arching your back. It's spine's neutral, okay? Pull your toe towards you. And the aim for you is to touch your toes, okay? That's what you're supposed to do. We're supposed to do this for 30 seconds, all right? This is the first exercise. After which, you're going to, we did the crab, uh, reverse plank fold, right? Now, you're just going to be in this position. So, one leg, so the left leg is down. Extend this one and crunch, extend, crunch and extend. When you're extending is when your body is in one line. We're going to do this for 30 seconds on the right side and 30 seconds on the left side, okay? So, toe touches, crack, get up with the leg crunch, single leg crunch and then move to the other side. Okay, let's start. I'm going to reset my timer. Let's start in three. Hope you guys have got the sip of water. This is 90 seconds continuous. After which 30 seconds break and repeating of the set. Okay, position starting is this. Toes flex towards you and go. Touch, touch. Do not bend your knees. Your knees are straight. Your toes are flexed towards you. 10 seconds up. Keep going. Keep touching your toes. 15. Keep going. 20 seconds. Keep going. 25 seconds. 3, 2, and 1. Let's move to the crab position and crunch. 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 Crunch, crunch. I'm going to take a quick break to check the time as well. Okay, 15 more seconds to go. Crunch. Keep crunching. Go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch to the left one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have ten more seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. You should have. Nice burn on your legs as well because you are joining the crunch along with crunch along with the um, legs in and out, right? So that's the first set of your second circuit. We are going to take a 30 seconds break. After which you will come back to the toe touches and repeat the set, alright? So take that set. I am going to take a breather as well. Alright, we are going to start in 8 seconds. Okay, uh, five, four, three, two, and let's go. Touch the toe, come on, come on. Keep going. Knees absolutely straight, push back, toes flex towards you, and touch, touch. Lift from your shoulders. Do not strain your neck, keep your neck neutral. 20 seconds up. Keep going, 25, 4, 3, 2, and move to flat get up with crunches. Alright. Come on. Crunch that leg. Keep going, keep going. Alright. Now 10 more seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Switch sides, the left leg crunching, 1, keep going, I'm going to check the time quickly. Alright, we are on time, 20 seconds left, keep going, give me more repetition, come on, push that, yeah. Just two more circuits and cool down. 
Breathe in. Don't hold your breath. All right, last five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. So that's your the crunches bit. We're gonna do the next one, which is gonna be focused on your obliques, besides the love handles. So first thing I like this set the bows. Okay. Take a sip, sip of water. Uh, three exercises again. So the first one is a whole body. Second one is right side focus. And third one is left side focus. Okay. So I'm going to show it to you. Um, it's called uh, plank grips. I also like to call it as London bridges. Uh, because that's what I tell the kids that I take session for. All right. Okay, so plank and dip to one side. Okay, keep doing. All right. So every time you come up, you're in a perfect plank position and dip and dip. Okay. So that's London bridges or plank dips for you. That works in both the feet. The next one, I'm going to focus on the right side crunching. So I'm going to sit normally and then come on my left side hips and my arms are here okay just a quick support okay and take it about 45 degrees and crunch it okay stretch out crunch stretch out crunch okay that's what I'm going to do on my right side with the right right side handles and quickly switch to the left same position, gentle support, and 45 degrees, legs extended out, crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, the left side, love handles. So, London bridges, uh, right side of the crunch, and left side of the crunch. 30 seconds each, non stop 90 seconds, 30 seconds break, and we're going to start again after that. Alright, so let's get started. I hope you've had a sip of water, wipe up your sweat if you had any. And let's start in three, two, and 30 seconds. Line bridges. Dip, dip, right, left, right, five seconds up, right, left, 10 up, left, right, left, 15 up, left, right, left, right. Left, 20 up, left, right, left, 25, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back, sit on your mat. I'm going to sit on my left side. And, sorry, reset it. Fine. All right, guys, start crunching. One, okay, see how many counts you could find it, more counts. In the next 30 seconds, keep crunching to 10 seconds up. Keep going, keep going. I'm watching the time. You just keep with me. 15 up, halfway through before we move to the left side. And 20, keep going. 25, stay with me. And switch sides. I'm gonna go on my right side and start. Keep crunching, crunch, crunch, crunch. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, out. You breathe in heavy, breathe in from the nose, breathe out from your mouth. This will be better, last 10 seconds. Keep crunching though. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job guys. Take a well deserved 30 seconds break and we're going to repeat this set in 20 seconds, alright? So London bridges, right side of the crunch, left side of the crunch. After that, we move to the last circuit and go away and then a quick cool down, alright? 
So you have 10 more seconds. <clears throat> Seven, four, three, plant position and stop. Come on. Dip, 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 dip it, dip it. Ten seconds up. Keep dipping. Fifteen. Keep going. Right to left. Dip it all the way. Twenty seconds up. Last ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Sit back for the right side of the crunches. <clears throat> all right. I'm sitting on the left side. Okay, and go. Crunch it for me. Give me more number of crunches than the last time. Hope you can't do it for yourself. Give it more. We're so talking about last three and three, four and a half minutes of work. Up. Come on, guys. You can do this. 20 seconds up. Keep going. 25, 28, 29, and 30. Switch sides. And go. Keep going. Bring it closer. 10 seconds up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Last 10 to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome sauce, guys. Super. I'm really hoping. Okay, we are well within the time. We can do a quick fourth circuit and move to cool down, all right? Come on, guys. Grab a sip of water. Next one. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Next one's good. It's all seated. We're going to be in the B seated position and do the next three. Exercises and be seated, okay? <clears throat> okay? So while you are doing that extended breath, I'm going to quickly explain to you. So, we're going to be in this position all the way through for 90 seconds. If you want, you can take the genital support. First one is called B rowing okay so take it ahead and bring it closer okay and you can give a hand motion to this all right we're going to do this for 30 seconds after that we are going to move to cycling that's easier okay just push all the way through like i don't want it like this i just want full movement okay all the way through all right and the last one all time favorite for I think most of us, the Russian twist. Okay, so that's gonna be this. I want you to go all the way down here, all the way down here. Okay, from right to left. Okay, this one's for you weeks as well. So in this last circuit, all three seated, we are targeting our upper core, the lower core, and the entire oblique section on the back portion. Right? Okay, so it's like an all encompassing circuit this one. Okay, again it's 30 seconds each. Keep going. And the scale down version for all of these exercises, it's easier, but I want you to try the higher version if you want to go lower on the way. So you can go, okay, just be here on, on your elbows and then extend. Okay, if you want to go it much easier, you can go on your elbows. Similarly, for the cycling bit as well, you can lie down and do it. This is a scaled down version if you're finding the V-seated one a little tougher. And the Russian twist, I want you to actually be like this and do it, but if you cannot, then you can slightly tap your heels. Okay, don't put all the pressure and sit comfortably, then there's no point, you're not going to feel any good. So I'm going to be slightly tapping so that I don't fall back and then feel the pressure and still go. To be surprised the amount of pressure you feel even though you're keeping your legs on the ground, okay? But 
Do not give up, okay? Last three minutes of exercises. Let's give it our best shot. We're going to start with three rowing. And let's go. Guys, come on. Okay, let's give the hand motion. Slowly. Let's do faster on the next one. Pace this one out. Extend and close. We are halfway through. Before we move to side kick, slowly keep going. 20 seconds up. Keep going. Breathe in. Out. Three, two, and one. We're going to move to side kick. Okay, gently pull and go. Extend it out fully. Full extension. Keep going. Going, going. Ten. Feel the core burning. Twenty. Last ten, guys. One. Keep with me. Keep that broad smile. Sweat it out. And down. Now we move to the Russian twist. Let me take a 30 seconds break. Come on. Move. Move it. If you're tired, you can hold the leg. Tap it down. But do not give up. Keep going. 15 seconds off. 20, 25, and down. Okay, good one guys. We just have the last circuit and last set remaining. Take that 30 seconds break and let's regroup in 30 seconds for this repeat of this circuit. Okay? We're going to start with rowing. Cycling and Russian twist, okay? So be with me. And you have 15 more seconds. Want you to be back on your mat and give it your best to this one. Give it more repetitions. Hold the form better because this is the last. After that, we move to the pull down and we start in three, two, and let's go, guys. Come on. Row, row, row your foot. That's my favorite song for the kids when I think, by the way. Okay, keep going. You can move the hands. Okay. Come on. 15 seconds up. Keep going. 20. 25. 3, 2, and 1. We're going to move to side kick. Let's go. Keep going. Breathe in and out. Full extension. 10 seconds up. Keep going. Keep going. 20. Last 10 for this one, guys. 5, 4, 3, 2, and move to Russian twist. Come on. Right to left. Keep going. Stay with me. Last 30 seconds. Sorry. 20 seconds. And then cool down. Last 10. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome, guys. Super stuff. Okay, let's quickly do the cool down. After which, we can have a quick round of chat with Sanvi on as well. All right, so we're going to start with a cobra pose because we've done a lot of uh, core workout. So on your tummies and the arms are next to your chest and lift it. So you can stay here if you're comfortable. Go up fully, stretch that core and back. Stay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go up the same way to the downward dog. In the reverse posture, reach for the back, entire posterior chain, and stay in the downward dog. Try and touch your heels to the ground. Raise your hips as high as possible and stay there. Feel the burn on the, sorry, stretch on the calf, your hamstrings, and feel the pleasant stretch on your back and core. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm going to want you guys to come in the same posture and sit in the child's pose. Okay. <clears throat> and stay there for a while. Stay there. One. Extend your arms. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sit back on your heels. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and gently up. So if you would have noticed, we did a lot of obliques. So I'm going to do one quick stretch for your obliques. So, um, so you sit like this, like Mandi Marke. So I want you to extend this leg back, okay, and then cross it over. So this is how it looks from the front. I'm going to show you how it looks from the side. Okay. And I want you to, with your right, I want you to hold your right knee and twist back. This is for your entire side of these. We've done a lot of oblique workouts. Okay. And stay there. One, two, look back. If you can look perpendicular back, that's amazing. Flexibility, you feel the entire stretch. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to switch my legs. My right leg is going to go down, and left leg is going to come up. All right. Okay. And holding my left hand, I'm going towards my right. Okay. Stay there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and release. All right, guys. So that's it for me. And uh, I think we're gonna have to be back. Hi Kavita, Hi. Hello. That, that person, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear All right. So that was amazing session Kavita on Apps Workout, uh, our expert trainer of the day. Uh, thank you Kavita. I hope uh, our audience enjoyed the exercises. I, I saw that they were some really exhausting uh, exercises and uh, from the comments I can see that, you know, uh, the, the audience were having a tough time keeping up with you. So yeah, the, the exercises were definitely very intense. Um, so Kavita, let's see if we have some questions from the audience today on our social handles. Let's try to take a few quick ones. Uh, and I will show the questions right here on the screen as well. Now this is, let's start with an interesting one. I think we have one from Akshay Swami saying, is, is it necessary to flaunt six packs to have core strength or maybe it translates both ways, right? It can core strength help me develop the exercise can help me develop six packs or are six packs necessary for core strength how are these two things related uh, i think uh, six packs and core strength are absolutely not related they are absolutely exclusive of each other uh, they could be in together but uh, it's not necessary that uh, for good core strength you need to have six packs uh, but the 
I mean, the vice versa happens to be truth. If you usually have a six pack, more often than not, your core strength is really good. And uh, so, <laughs> flaunting your six pack is a personal choice. But um, you see, a lot of trainers and a lot of fitness experts have extremely good core strength. They can do those flat postures, and they can do inverted handstands, headstands, and all of that, and all on the basis of core strength. But you might see they have a small. Lower belly, they might have a small uh, bump, and they might not be having an absolutely six pack or eight pack. So they are unrelated as far as I'm concerned. Thanks, Kavita. Uh, the next comment we have here is an appreciation for you uh, from you. Mamta Yadav. It's difficult to talk in between while doing these exercises. How Kavita I'm is doing is amazing. So uh, I can relate to that. I mean. people here might be getting out of breath and to have somebody who is going through the entire session talking to the audience doing the countdowns that is really something amazing so kavita hats off she's a good runner friend of mine so thanks mamta thanks for that uh, thing i'm yeah. sure you do it as well so you totally relate it well. yeah mamta ha- mamta had a lot of comments about the various exercises so yeah we, you can probably go through some of them at a later time uh, let's see what else do we have here uh, so this question is from ash acharya after doing exercises abdominal pain is a common issue among runners while doing running the next day could you mention the reasons and how to fix this okay so um i don't know if it's abdominal pain if it's abdominal i mean it's if it's a pain it could be due to various reasons uh but if if we're talking about soreness uh yes it could be and especially the running next day uh, i mean i'm 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 believing that you're trying to say that after um core workout and abs exercises the next day when you're running it's sore and that's why it's paining which is correct that soreness tends to lead to pain and that's absolutely all right you just have to uh, do counter stretches for it so because if you're running you're clenching your core and running so if you can do some backward bends and some side bends um because you're continuously moving this portion so if you're able to do that and you're um able to do counter um uh, stretches for it i think that should take care but if it's a pain then it could be due to multiple reasons which will have to be further investigated thanks kavita uh, a very related question maybe probably uh, a very variety uh, a variation of that is uh, this is very common right all of yes. us feel some feel this sometime or the other and typically from my experience we feel this especially in the races the most important races right suddenly at 7 kilometers or 10 kilometers you get these cramps and you are like struggling for the next couple of kilometers what what do we do about this uh it's it's a very funny thing uh, i don't know if it works for all but um this is what i do i think this happens because of uh, you're trying to push slightly uh, further than your usual um cardiovascular threshold capacity that's why you tend to get a stitch for me the stitches are always on my right abdo- lower uh, abdominal rib cage and what i do is and it happens usually after i take a sip of water and then i'm continuing to run fast in races especially like you right like you rightly said tanvi that's a common thing because you're trying to push harder so like what works for me is i just hold show it to you like this i just hold it like really tight like press it really hard and run like that for like a minute uh, to 90 seconds and it happens to go off i really don't know why it happens but it happens because of uh, the extra push that you do and this happens to cure for me but i know that there are a lot of um, uh, studies and medical sciences which are related to it some for some people you just have to get up and you just stand and then do this way so they stretch out this way and this portion that goes off then so it's multiple things so it's basically trial and error for me pressing that portion wherever i get the stitch hard for a minute to 90 seconds helps um it to go away all right thanks uh, kavita let's so your friend mamta is once again with back with another question is it beneficial to do all these exercises in a single go but in a single mm-hmm. set is it more beneficial um okay i think you're trying to say that doing the entire set uh so i mean it's it's multiple combinations i think uh, as runners we need to incorporate i'm sure you also know it we need to incorporate core exercises at least at least a minimum of two times uh, in a week uh, about 15 to 20 minutes is what we should uh, look at um, and uh, the the 
theory in terms of whether when you do it does not really matter because the focus is on just strengthening that core so if you do it in a single set or you do it um, it does not really uh, make a difference but i do know that some extreme uh, fitness coaches and uh, cross coaches do suggest that after a intense long run if you're doing the core workouts you're burning it further so shortening that uh, span of core workout so if you usually do a 15 minutes workout core workout abs workout but after a long intense run if you're doing it for 7 to 8 minutes that's almost equivalent intensity because you're already burnt out and you're still doing it uh, with that strength so i do not think it really matters if you do it in one go it's just a matter of giving it that due time to strengthen uh, those muscles okay kavita there are a couple of questions which are related and they talk about how we do this when we have certain injuries or some some challenges in this case jamin is talking about a frozen shoulder we have a similar question from Pr pratik who is saying he has a waist pain so if if people are struggling with some sort of you know challenges in terms of uh, uh, some problems like these uh, what what is the recommendation So I think Yamini is talking about because most of the exercises I think when we end up doing core workouts, it's like putting the weight on the shoulder, the plank workouts, and that's why I think Yamini is coming from there. How do you manage that? So um, there are there are two ways. Um, so uh, I mean, you can look at Instagram handles, or you can look for YouTube videos, or if you get in touch with me, I can give you a few exercises as well. Um, where you can do the same set of exercises, either sitting on a couch or uh, sitting, I mean, using a mat, or even you can do it standing. The intensity will be slightly lower, but if you can do it higher repetitions, you don't necessarily need to use your shoulders, and you can avoid using your shoulders and still work on your uh, core muscles. so uh, i think that can help. thanks kavita we have a question for about the kids related thing right you you mentioned about uh, working out with kids and here is something uh, this adds creativity asking about can people of all ages do these exercises i think especially referencing youngsters below 10 years or 15 years so um the answer is depends upon the individual fitness levels and so uh, i have a friend's daughter who is a uh, three and a half and then she is almost training for competitive uh, swimming and then she does much much more intense uh, core workout as well on the non swimming days and especially now since it's been off they're focusing on that but it's actually depending upon the exposure of the kids to the uh, workouts or the um, level of um, activity that you expose them to and how early on so um, I mean, when I was starting kids session, we were doing uh, for the last one month. Uh, we were doing a session for aged uh, 10 to 12 and 12 to 16 aged kids, two groups, and we were doing exercises. Um, I mean, all kinds like HIIT, agility, uh, core workout combined for one hour sessions on three days a week. And we used to do it basis their um, uh, age group because most of them were uh, the regular kids who normally go out and play, uh, not intense into sports. So um, these workouts. some of these sessions the london bridges are really fun to do you know and the rowing of the boat you can relate a song to it so we kind of added some fun element to it some rhymes to it and that's why we did it but we did it the scaled down version so it depends on the individual kids capacity but ideally if a kid is fit i think you can do these i mean they have much better core strength and it can be developed much sooner thanks sir uh... we have a ton of questions here so maybe i'll just go for one more maybe kavita can go back to the youtube and facebook channel said because we don't have the capacity to answer all there are a huge number of questions here kavita so uh, people are really on this thing okay. uh, let's take one final one um, and this is coming from uh, our typical runner right pratesh is asking about it is advisable to do core stretching before or after the run i mean uh, i think this is something again which is probably not directly related with running you have to you know have a focused time how what would you advise about this and uh, so, uh i think um, usually i mean i'll tell you the practice that i do uh, but it, but it's actually absolutely individual so before running you have to activate your entire uh, uh, the entire body muscles especially your core and also your uh, lower body which is um, used to the maximum when you're running so to activate and engage them before the run is essential so doing a little bit of core workouts like a 2 minutes plank 2 minutes side plank donkey kicks the the regular you can have like a 5 6 kind of a workout and you can do like a 5 6 minute thing uh, along with some uh, uh, lower body strengthening if you a lower body activation if you do before the run that's the best 
but in general, in order to um, strengthen core overall, uh, like I said earlier, when um, uh, I think uh, Akshay asked, um, I was talking about you need to anyways dedicate about um, two days minimum of uh, say 15 to 20 minutes of time to strengthen your core dedicatedly so that you can do any part of the day but activation of the core before the run does help because then you're just waking it up and you know uh, you're ensuring that you're able to engage it so i think that really helps thank you so i think yeah we'll we'll uh, we'll stop with the questions for now uh, thanks kavita for answering all of these questions from the audience and of course thanking our entire audience to uh, for, for taking part in these uh, FitFest yeah. sessions. Uh, we are going to have so many more of them. Please note that all these session recordings are available on our so social media channels on Facebook, on YouTube. So feel free to you know come back, go back to them sometime if, if you miss something or you want to repeat some of these uh, exercises once again at your leisure, feel free to share them with your friends and fellow runners via your so social handles. And I would also like to remind you that the next session which takes place is tomorrow, same time, uh, which will be a dance-based cardio session by Nandini Ashok Kumar from Chennai. So with that, we end today's session. Take care and see you all tomorrow. Thanks, Kavita. Thank you for yes. our audience for participating.